Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> eat to live. <laughs> yes, eat to live. Subscribe. Good morning. All right, let's go downstairs. I'm going to take you with me for a full day of nutritarian eating. And I start with matcha tea. So let's go. Good morning to you, too. One thing I have to tell you really quick before we get into this, we are doing a free five day eat to live challenge right now. Recipes, grocery lists, meal plans, everything you need for five days of eat to live eating. It's all free, okay? So make sure you download that. Okay, back to the video. I heat up some water to hot but not boiling. I grab my friend Izumi's matcha tea from the fridge where I keep it so that it can stay fresh and I grab my almond milk. Here's what the matcha actually looks like. Matcha tea is an ancient kind of Japanese green tea. Instead of steeping the nutrition out of the dried tea leaf like we usually do with tea, matcha is the entire leaf ground into a fine powder. So it's actually a whole food. And my friend Izumi, which is a girlfriend of mine from when I used to live in Florida, she sells the best matcha on the planet. It's the one I always use. It's super mild and it's straight from her family farm in Japan. It's amazing. So I add some of that tea to the cup, a little bit of honey. Of course, the honey is not nutritarian, so feel free to leave that out if you like. Add some almond milk, and then I have this cute little mixer that I always use. It mixes it really well and also adds a little froth too. There's a link for this down below in the description if you're interested in that. I also added all these links and all the information you need, including all the recipes for this video in the cheat sheet. So if you wanna get an actual PDF with these recipes and everything, and all the links and everything, just go to thewateringmouth.com slash cheat sheets, sign up there, you can get the PDF. Otherwise, the rest of the recipes are all in the description of this video down below. So then, me and my cat Vincent head up to my office to get started for the day and do a little bit of work, and then I'm gonna go take a shower and it's time for my next meal. It's just before noon and I'm showered and we're ready to take on the day. I'm gonna take you with me for my juice, which is my sort of first thing that I have in the morning that has any kind of calories. I've been doing juice for a while now because I had cancer this past year, and so I'm upping my nutrient take. I recommend you do that as well. I know that juice doesn't have the fiber, but if you have juice plus all your regular eat to live meals, you get so much more nutrients and it just helps everything out. So I'm gonna take you with me to show you how I do the juice. Now, this is part of my fab five, which is five things that I eat on rotation all the time, every day. I don't eat them all every day. They are juice, oatmeal, smoothies, salad, and soup. Those are the fab five that I'm just kind of used to eating. I love, I have several different recipes of each one, so I mix it up every few days. And I just make one or two things every other day or so, so that I never run out of anything. And so today is juice day, I gotta make my juice. I'll show you how I make it. Okay, for my red juice today, I'm gonna add some tomatoes, some romaine, beets, carrots, bok choy, and celery. I rinse the dirt off of everything and I scrub the beets real good and then I throw it all onto the drain rack in the sink. And then I set up my juicer, which is the Omega NC800. I love this juicer so much. It's so fast and easy to clean. I highly recommend it if you wanna get a juicer. I chop all my veggies a little bit to make them easier to manage and fit into the juicing tube. And after I'm done juicing everything, la 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 la. I do one more strain with a fine mesh strainer. If you don't have a strainer, you can use like a nut milk bag if you wanted, or you could just leave the pulp in to get a little bit more fiber. But I like to just have really straight, thin juice when I'm adding this to all the rest of the meals I'm having during the day. And I know how much produce to use to make one to two days worth of juice. I can eyeball it at this point. Here I've made two days worth of juice for me and my husband. Look how deep that color is. It's so beautiful, so much nutrition. But I wouldn't make juice any further out than that though, like a couple days or you'll start to lose nutrients. And then just cover your juice and throw it in the fridge. These juices are really good too. If you don't like the flavor, just add some lemon. It always makes it taste so, so good. All right, I'm back pretty quickly actually. I just set up downstairs because I need to do a phone call here in a little bit. And it got me thinking about my schedule today. 
It's 12.15 in the afternoon and I have calls from two to four. And that's usually when I have my salad. So I was thinking I better have another meal in the next hour or two before this call so that I have some food in my tummy during those calls. And then afterwards, either I might be full enough or I'll just have the other piece of my Fab Five today. So the other two things that I have to eat today are soup and a salad. I've already prepped soup several days ago so I'm gonna make some of this I have a whole container of it ready to go actually prepped but I'll show you what I did to do that and then I have salad so I'm gonna go ahead and have my salad now though since salad for me and this is a really really important point on the nutritarian lifestyle salad for me is the magic bullet it is the thing that if I have a salad during the day and I have the way that I sort of do it in the way that I teach it. If I eat it in this way, it's easy for me to lose weight. My cravings are gone. I don't have any cravings afterwards. It's very, very simple. So I'll show you what I do. I have already prepped my lettuce. So I'm gonna bring that out. And I'm taking, I have the leftover lemons from my juice. So I'm gonna put that in the salad. I'm going to get, to take the easy way out and use this broccoli slaw as my cruciferous component. I have been using this beautiful Holland Bowl from the Holland Bowl Mill. However, it was gifted to me by one of my wonderful Eat to Live family members, Peggy, and another anonymous wonderful donor that sent this to me. So I use this bowl to chop up my salad. That way I don't have to chop my romaine so much and it will just last a little bit longer that way. And I use this double pizza cutter that I got with an OXO salad cutter bowl. I used to always use that and now I use it with this bowl because it's just so beautiful. All right, let me show you what I do. So I'm just gonna take a bunch of this lettuce. There's some kale in there too. Let me get that guy out. I'll just throw him in. He doesn't look very pretty. Now the size and the amount of lettuce that you use in your salad is the key point. It is the key to making a salad big enough so that you feel satisfied for the rest of the day. If you don't get enough, you'll get too hungry too quick later on, leading to cravings. Now, this looks like a salad big enough for a family, and I'm gonna make it just the right size for me. I also already have some pre-prepped mushrooms that I made a day or so ago. This is my rolling prep method that I'm always talking about. We talk about in the Eat to Live challenges when we do our free five day Eat to Live challenges or the 21 day challenges that we've done in the past that are available on my website, thewateringmouth.com slash shop. This is exactly what I teach you in there, this rolling prep. So every day or every other day you make something new so you always have stuff in the fridge ready to go. I'm not a huge mushroom in my salad lover unless I'm having a savory salad, which I am today, but I usually like to just have my mushrooms as I'm making the salad. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so chop up your lettuce. You can use a bowl like this or just use a plain old kitchen knife and a cutting board. I got out my previously made um, Chipotle ranch dressing. As you can see, the recipe, I'm putting um, that in the cheat sheet so you can get that, but I don't have video of it because I made it a few days ago. Grab some no sodium beans. Today I'm using chickpeas. Rinse them, throw some in your salad, a couple handfuls or something like that'll do. Then I have some dehydrated red onions that I made before. I'm gonna post a recipe for this soon, but basically I just use my food processor to slice them. And then I used my Excalibur dehydrator for about eight hours on 115 to dry them out. I love these onions because they get kind of sweet when they're dehydrated and they make the nicest texture in the salad. It's kind of like adding fruit a little bit, but totally not <laughs> like adding fruit. So yummy and they're so convenient to eat. And in my pre-made salad dressing, I also added some of these dehydrated onions and you could just use fresh onions if you wanted to. And it was just super, super yummy flavor. The dressing itself, as I said, the recipe is in the cheat sheets, but it has a tahini base. And then I used some almond milk. Um, I actually used ripple, but you could use any kind of plant plant milk and some apple cider vinegar as the base. Then I added, as I said, some of those red onions and then for seasonings, I used garlic powder, onion powder, dill weed and ancho chili powder. And I also added a couple of chili peppers in adobo with adobo sauce. And you can get those at any grocery store. 
I just use two chili peppers, but you can use as much as you want. Then I add some of that pre-made dressing and some extra pine nuts to my salad because I really love to have that creamy texture. I'm down in the kitchen working um, and just got off my calls. They lasted a while, so I was very hungry during my calls. <laughs> And then they had this bit of salad left, so I ran upstairs to grab it. And now that I'm hungry, mm, it tastes so good. Actually, I just realized I used to always put peas in my salad because it was such a nice, sweet flavor. And I just remembered I haven't been doing that. I want to do that again. But anyways, this salad is super, super delicious. I'm going to eat this and then I, I'm going to see how I feel. I think I'm going to just end up having a soup really quickly so that I can finish off this meal and be done for the day. Usually I try to finish eating by about 3, 4, 5 p.m. Because if I eat a salad like this and maybe even a soup, then I'm super full and I don't need any more food. So I'll show you what I do in a minute. All right. Yes, I would like to eat more. I can tell that my tummy is not full yet. So I'm going to have some more soup right now. This is going to be my dinner. So I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna do one bowl of soup and then I have extra if I need it. So let me see how much I have. I had some pre-made soup in the fridge and um, I just add flavorings to soups whenever I go to eat it. So I make a soup and it, yeah, it's really, really bland when I first make it. And then I just add those flavorings so it can be eaten so many different ways. This soup that I made had carrots, onions, celery, zucchini, yellow squash, and sorghum, and then veggie broth. I warmed it up and then I just added some of my salad dressing for creaminess. I also added lime juice and nutritional yeast for flavoring. I typically will do this, some kind of a creamy dressing, maybe cashews, um, you know, I'll blend some cashews in or I'll use cashew butter or tahini just by itself. In this case, I use my salad dressing and then I just love adding some citrus and some nutritional yeast. It's my favorite combination. It's so delicious. And I also have a video called 10 ways to flavor soup without salt and that has some great tips too. That is my absolute favorite flavor combination for soup, tahini, lemon, nutritional yeast. It's also my favorite flavor combination for a salad. Add a little mustard to add some depth as well. So, so good. And this is a good amount of food, but it's not too heavy. So it's gonna be the perfect thing to end this day off. I can't see it very well, but it is 5.02 p.m. Just in time to stop eating before the day gets too late. Oh, and remember, the five day challenge, thewateringmouth.com slash challenge. Join us there, and if you're too late for it, don't worry, just still sign up and get the PDF. You can get the free recipes or you can join us for the next challenge. And then of course the Eat to Live family is opening up on Monday. We would love to see you in there Monday, January 17th. Group coaching. We will get you to all your goals and you'll be able to do it with a bunch, hundreds and hundreds of other awesome nutritarians just like you. All right, see you soon. I'm going to go finish my dinner. I hope you like this video. I love when you follow me around for a day. It's been a while since I could do one like this. I'm so glad you're here. Listen, I have a goal to get to 100,000 YouTube subscribers by the end of 2022, so help me out. Just hit that subscribe button. You can also hit the notification bell so that uh, you'll be notified whenever I go live or when new videos are uploaded, okay? So I'd love to see you as a subscriber. I hope you love this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.